Hello, welcome to the 3D modeling using Onshape platform. In this video, uh, we are going to model a hook. Uh, the dimensions of this particular hook you can see uh, uh, from here. Uh, I'll be uh, loading this file on my uh, chat box. Uh, all the dimensions are well written here. Okay, and. Um, a bit tricky lofting uh, and plane selections are the speciality of this video. Okay. I'll jump to the video now. Uh, we'll start a new part studio. So I'll just go to select top plane for my sketching. Draw two concentric circles one with the dimension of 76 and another with the dimension of 102 okay i finish my sketch and i just go for an extrude for the inner circle with a length of 203 mm okay. finish it I'll just go for sketching in the front plane now Normal. I'll use use project So that circle is projected to the front plane now. Now I will just make uh, two construction lines. Make the dimension as four four six mm. All right. I will draw a circle with this center and the dimension as let's take the diameter like this. Okay. Again, I'll go a second uh, circle with uh, arbitrary center and I'll just make the uh, dimension for that second circle as 89 into 2 okay. so in the drawing most of the uh, dimensions are uh, given radially so when I convert to diametrical dim uh, dimension I'll multiply it with uh, 2 now I go to the constraint tab you first make a coincident constraint with uh, this circle and the projected point of okay, this projected point. And I'll go again to the tangent constraint. I'll make this circle tangent to this circle. So let's finish now. I'll trim away uh, the non required parts of the circles. This I don't need, this I don't need, and this I don't need. Okay, so now I have a path and a profile I want to sweep okay so for that i will select the sweep okay i'll select that uh, uh, bigger circle sweep path and this and this okay so finished all right so if you look at the front view you can see like this now again i'm going to a sketch on the front plane I click view normal all right so oh, make this visible okay so now what I want to uh, make is uh, one circle and uh, another this bottom portion is elliptical okay 
So this is elliptical in nature and the distance is 159 it's given and uh, <coughs> uh, this is a circle okay so that circle radius is 89 okay so that is 89 so that uh, we will start okay so I'll draw first a circle which center this point and for that again I need a use project okay so I want to project this circle to my plane okay so I projected I did some projected points there click this center this projected okay that's fine so next again I'll go to make a point which is 159 away uh, from this okay so make the dimension this and this as 1 Five nine one five nine. Okay, so that's it. Then I'll go for an ellipse. Okay, center of the ellipse is this. The major axis is the downside projected point, and the uh, minor axis is at this point. Okay, so my ellipse is finished now. All right. So now. I want to uh, uh, do the, the, the hook end portion okay so for that again I will start with uh, some construction lines okay this is the construction line which I am making and another construction line which is parallel to the construction line okay I'll just make then I'll connect it to the parallel constraint parallel to these two parallel okay then I define an angle between these two lines that is 55 degree <coughs> then I dimension these two lines okay that is 66 all right now again i go for uh, circles i'll just make a circle with a radius of 152 into 2 okay so 152 into 2 152 into 2 all right and i'll i'll just make that tangent to this line okay and this to this inner side all right so now i got the tangent there now again i'm just going to draw another circle in this center line i draw like this and the dimension which i'm supposed to give is 127 into 2 1 2 7 into 2 okay so that's it Ah, then I will make the tangent constraint tangent to this circle. Okay, so it's finished. Now I will trim away the non required uh, parts of the curve surface. I don't need this one. 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 This will be trimmed away. Okay. And this the this will be trimmed away. And this will be trimmed away. This portions will be trimmed away. This will be trimmed away. This trimmed and this trimmed. Okay. So now you can see it's uh, 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 the plane shape we get. This will be our loft path. So the first session, the since the the, the cross section is not changing, we can go directly with the sweep command. Here the cross section is uh, varying, so we cannot use a sweep command. So we'll finish uh, before finishing the sketch again. I I need some another construction lines like this, connecting this point and this point one. Okay. So now I need a, 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 a filleting here at this point. 
so for that i'm just making a filleting click this and this okay that is 12.7 12.7 okay so the filleting is also finished now i just connect that endpoints also this with this all right so i finish the sketch now i want to define two planes there okay so select the plane uh, i'll just select this line and i select line angle make it as 90 degree okay so we'll get a, a plane inclined plane which is uh, the reference is that line okay so again uh, i need another plane okay so i need another plane i click uh, this line okay and i select line angle finish so i get two <coughs> planes for my further drafting okay so next i'm going to make a game sketch on the first plane first plane which we made now i select a circle there draw a circle somewhere in the point and coincidence with one end point okay and again you can go to the coincidence command click the circle and this point okay so now it's perfectly lined okay finish that sketch is finished okay so now we'll go for a lofting okay so i'll select the loft okay i'll select this cross section uh, this cross section then i'll select the uh, guide and the continuity as this one and this one okay so that bottom quarter portion is finished that loft i finished again mm, these sketches i need now okay so again i want one more loft okay one more loft so that uh, i want to draw a circle here select that plane for sketching okay then you can draw another circle there in this point uh, make it there and go to the uh, coincidence constraint click the circle and this end point okay so it's finished now okay so that sketch is finished now again we can go for the second loft click uh, this is the loft pro profile and this one is the second loft profile now we want to give some guides for that this will be the inner guide and this will be the outer guide okay so the second loft is also finished and the final we need to finish the end okay so for that again what what we we have already the profile there okay the, the guide is there already so we want uh, some uh, profiles hmm, to loft okay so i'm again selecting this as the sketch plane all right i'll draw a circle there the center of this and this end point okay and i draw another line uh, which is passing horizontally in that plane okay so click so that finish okay now i finished the sketch i'll go again for the third lofting click the loft select this this is the first profile to loft and this is the final profile to loft and the guide path you can you can give as a guide path as the top one okay so by that it is finished okay so it is fully finished you can uh, uh, you can make all the reference sketches invisible now okay this i don't need a plane one plane two i don't need sketch four i don't need all right so see it's perfectly model now you can see it is finished okay so in this particular example we used uh, the loft okay so the guide uh, for loft some uh, 
typical uh, example for loft using uh, guides okay so up to this point we, we only need uh, sweep since the profile is not varying from here the profile is changing so that's why we need uh, loft instead of sweep okay so by this i am winding up uh, thank you for watching